Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in Little Witch in the Woods, where last time we had a very large adventure, and we met this adorable little fox named Rubrum, who got separated from his family when the uh, plant grew, and now he's he's here with us because he doesn't have anywhere else that can he can go and is going to help us, help him. So, we have him that we are taken care of and then um we helped someone with a curse i do remember that they had a, a nature loving curse something like that anyway so last time i learned that i need to learn how to read we're supposed to investigate the bushes near the where rubber was and i wanted to check that we had everything we might need where's the button there we go um I think we're gonna go downstairs real quick and maybe drop off some things in storage because I don't want to hold everything all the time. Okay. Uh, let's move this over real quick and see if she's able to remember anything on this. I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. Okay, so she doesn't remember. It. Okay. While we are moving around, I need to remember to collect things along the way. Come on, Rubrum. this, and then I'm gonna run over to you guys. Nice. I don't have one of those. I don't have a net. Alright. Getting more squishy chub fur is very important. But we're also gonna grab things like this. Yes, I'll let you out of your little thing. That thing is not back. I don't know how much of this I might need, but it won't hurt to get some. I should have put this somewhere. Oops. Oh well. Ooh, they finally dropped one. to explore the bushes over here. Really? It was that simple. Oh dear. My inventory is too full. Gosh dang it. Oh, 
potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? Oh, where am I at? I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on the top of getting into travel? Hey, what do you take me for? Boom potion. Don't you feel the mighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Break it if you can't have it. <laughs> Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it thinking that it's treasure like Rub Rub. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? Uh, I don't know. The important thing now is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion. Wow, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. Why are these fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet. Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well... Oh, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Okay, we got the large prickly vine splinter. As a talking point. Nice. We can ask, um, or Aurea. Welcome. Do you need anything? There are more dangers in the jungle than in the desert. Why? Because you can't hun hide in the desert. You can't cross the horizon, even if you run for half a day. In the jungle, it disappears before your eyes, even if you take only five steps. In a deep forest, you must be careful, because plants and animals become smart as well as people. Do you need anything? You can see many things while working as a peddler. Do you have any special memories? The old man who sold me the cursed wooden image of a monkey. Can't argue with that. It's a joke. There was an old woman selling pottery. She was selling two or three handcrafted potteries in the most inconspicuous part of the market. I happened to pass by there and met the gaze of the old woman. I looked at the pottery placed in front of the old woman, who smiled bashfully while avoiding my eyes. I still clearly remember the shape of that pottery. It was a long, white water bottle, with its spout open like a flower petal. The mystery of the soft blue light and fish engraved around its midsection was full of life. I have never seen such a water bottle, even in Sanan province. I fell in love with that water bottle at first sight. I told myself I would even buy it with every Solaris gold coin I had and ask her, how much do you think it was? Well, you can buy 10 water bottles with one Solaris gold coin, right? Wouldn't you get one or two gold coins? The price the old woman mentioned was two equus silver coins. Equus silver coins? Even the shoes I'm wearing are more expensive than that. That's what I'm saying. But wasn't that so lucky? I got upset and told the old woman off. I told her that I'll never buy it for less than 12 Solaris gold coins. That seems to be expensive. Seems to be more expensive than the house I was living in. So what happened? In the end, I couldn't buy it. What? Why not? She said, this child's play cannot be sold for more than two equus silver coins. She was an old woman with skillful hands. But she was terrible at appraising her own work. But don't you regret it? It could have been very profitable. Being too expensive is a problem, but it can't be too cheap either. 
good things should be given good prices. I never do business with people who don't know how to properly value things. Do you need anything? Oh, is this a fragment of that prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon, with the moonstone embedded. Here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great. Alright, here it goes. Huh? What? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just gets killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? Ah, it seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned at school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? I don't have any items ready now. Aw, okay. Okay, so we need to... make that moonlight potion. Maybe that's why that was available just out in the open. hut. Okay. We are going to... Hi. Hello, Lily. Any interesting stories? I like playing in the forest. But you must be careful when you play in the forest. Why? Because you might end up like this again. <laughs> Any interesting stories? Ellie, have you ever picked an apple from the bush? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Was it delicious? <laughs> yes, it was delicious. It's delicious, right? I like it too. But you shouldn't eat too much. Grandma said you'll get a stomach ache. Any interesting stories? No, that's it. Goodbye. Alright. Alright, let's get this started. Moonflower. People have died from reading too many books. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know? Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree? Bitter grape tea tree! That's the tree we saw at the summit! The glowing one! The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Mm. Tea leaves, blah blah blah. Tastes like grape, strong, bitter taste. Oh, here it is! Blah blah blah. It is also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Moonflower! So it was here! There's still more information. Hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night? But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. 
so the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom? Yeah, it's a commonly used method back in Lucerine or Duke. Gathering moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, show them away, and collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies. Make lunar's oil and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. I thought we'd need it, so I made one in advance. Let's go to the tree right away. Ellie, the lunar's oil is... Don't worry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Do you really want to go now? Did you do everything you want to do? Not yet. I still have stuff to do. Stop wasting time. If you're done, let's talk to Rubrum and go. Okay. What were the other ingredients? I don't remember. We have the sunlight. We don't have phoenix feather powder. Do we? Phoenix feather powder? I didn't think we did. I don't remember having Phoenix feather powder. to the peak now? Let's go. Alright, let's go now. Great. There's such the trees expected. Wow, there are tons of shining butterflies. You're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the trees' sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here goes. Yep, I would run from that too. Goodness. Oh, that's pretty... Wow, it's beautiful. Where are those butterflies going? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower... All over there, over there. so beautiful. Yes, it's really, really beautiful. Now we can just pick up moonflower and make lunar's oil. Rub them. can you go through the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the moon oil's ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. Alright, let's go to the dispensary now. I should make Lunar's oil. Ellie, I hope you haven't forgotten. For Lunar's oil, you need Phoenix Feather. There's no way we can find a Phoenix over here. We have a Phoenix Feather right here. You told me all about it earlier. What? Oh, Ellie, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. We may not make it to the to hide again. A witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it the most. That again. You just like it here better. Well, of course. You just don't, don't like the witch's house in Hylian. That's true. Stop being childish. You're going to regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. 
I'm sure of it. You have to be smart about this. Powder made from burning phoenix feathers. It sparkles bright red due to heat and magic. Great, I have all the ingredients now. Ellie, you're worse than Arya sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That wasn't a compliment. Alright, now let's make Lunar's oil. Fire needs to be at stage one and don't stir. So let's see. Fire's at stage one. We need one moonflower water, one phoenix feather powder. Nice. Potion that emits strong moonlight. It contains the power of the moon. It's expensive, there's a rare ingredients required to make it. Woohoo, the lunar soil is ready. <laughs> Let's go get rid of the prickly vine now. I'm here. Now let's hurry up and get rid of the annoying vines. Um... Hmm? Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Don't worry about that. This was my choice. What I really wanted to do. And this is my choice. Thanks, Ellie. It's not, it's not a big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay here? Yeah. I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. Really? Really? Really. Keep up the good work, Robo. Okay. Keep up the good work too, Ellie. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Okay. See you in a bit. Yeah. Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say stuff that makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all if I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter. That's what they'll say. Well, that's great. I already told you it's not a compliment. Alright, let's head to the village now. Now? This late? I have finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen there. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Okay. I think... Uh, it's quite a dull sight. Virgil. How's the village that you have to stay in for three years? Do you feel like going back to Hylia again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly button? I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see the prickly vines growing only on houses. No, that's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch's school picnic. Something feels familiar. Let's find a rope room first. Um. Uh, like. Ooh. The house just. Look at this house. The decoration looks gorgeous. What happened to the people who lived here? Wouldn't they have run away while the prickly vine was growing? I hope that was the case. Wow, this was a house? I can imagine just like her. What might have happened to these people? It's covered in vines and stuff. I 
his vines everywhere. Can't help but trip on them sometimes. Alright. I think that's all the exploration we're going to be doing today, though. Looks like we're going to have to make more of the lunar potion. Yeah. Well, time does seem to have stopped. I think everyone's going to be up, though. Like, way in their homes and such. Closed. I guess it's a restaurant. This house looks fine. A restaurant in a village like this. Can you do business in a place like this? The vines are growing through the house. Look at this poor fountain. What is that? Firefly, I guess. This bridge. Goodness gracious. Oh, Ellie. Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special. But it really looks like no one is in the village. Yes, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Arden's in my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay, because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yes, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? They say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. Grandma's a sheep. Mean it? Welcome, witch. You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. No, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from, from their age. All right, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Enid, chief of this village. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yes, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? Actually, there are already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first, they were saying things like God's punishment monster or witch's curse. Wipe off your jewel, Ellie. It's a serious story. There were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry now. I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. What? All the houses have been ruined already, and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. But... I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. Hylian is boring as heck. Virgil, bad word. Ellie. There are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. 
Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No, they would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life in it. I can't let the village get taken away by these weird prickly vines. Yeah, you're right, but... Oh, let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I'm... You look tired too. Ravrum looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Robram too much. Yeah, okay. Get some rest. You too, eat it. Okay. What are you trying to do? Eat it is right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no houses. Yeah, but not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure? This is your first time in this village. If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. But, I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream. That's absurd. No. That it's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that Enid has lived in for all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as Enid. You know, you also just met Enid for the first time. I can tell, even if they met for the first time, there was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right, Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It would be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream. In order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. Alright. What's your name's left? Hi, thing. I don't know why I always want to grab those. So because time to, seems to have been stopped for now, I'm going to end things here. And next time we'll do the sleep and then go back to eat it. Um, yeah, that, that sounds like a plan. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me today. If y'all could do, please leave a like. Leave any tips, tricks, thoughts, suggestions in the comment section down below. And thank y'all so much for uh, joining us. And do please subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.